Number two, Little Bart was the winner. Number eight, Reggae Boy was the fifth at Keelan. There's a claiming third. race. Eight furlongs on the turf. I like number nine, Hold Bisk. It, Gets Rosie Napravnik back. Sent out by owner Maggie Moss, whose horses are winning at a 40% clip. The sixth at Keeneland is a maiden special weight for two-year-olds on the turf. I like number eight, Czar. Czar debuted in a race at Ellis Park where Lawn Ranger won that race and came right back to win the Grade 3 Bourbon at Keeneland last Sunday. In Czar's second start, he went to Kentucky Downs and ran second in a stakes race. So today, the drop back into Maiden Company and the fact that he's got two races under his belt, I think he looks much the best. Ladies and gentlemen, there's been a claim of foul lodged here. In the seventh at Belmont, I like number 11, John Wright. He's the class play. In this field of non runners to optional allowance claimers, one eight and a half furlongs on the turf. He's seen nothing but open allowance company in his career since breaking his maiden. This is a state bred race. That's number 11 genre. The seventh at Gulfstream Park West is a maiden claiming seven furlongs. I like number one, Discreet Romance. Debuted at this level and was sent off as an even money favorite. She was wide throughout and was an even third. She was claimed right off the bat, so the fact she was claimed as a first-time starter tells me the connections think they know something. It's number one, Discreet Romance. The eighth at Keeneland is my best bet of the day at Keeneland. It's the grade three Jessamine for two-year-olds on the turf, eight and a half furlongs. I like Phila Primera. She stalked the pace in her debut. She was trapped behind runners, chasing a loose on the lead. Front runner went 50 and change on the front end. And she found room at, on the inside. Man, she burst through like something special. I think she goes off as the favorite or one of the favorites today. It is primetime investment on number three, Phila Primera at Keeneland in the featured eight, the grade three Jessamine. The eighth at Gulfstream is a seven furlong starter optional claimer. I like number 11, Courtney Ryan. For some reason, she's listed at eight to one in the program. Uh, she is much better than what she would appear based on her last two races where she was way over her head. She was four to five and won by five widening lengths the last time she was at this level. I think she does it again. I doubled the best investment on number 11, Courtney Ryan. My last bet of the day is my best bet of the day at Gulfstream Park West. It is the ninth and featured an optional allowance. I like number six, Yes Liz, to take down this six and a half furlong sprint. My last bet of the day is my best bet of the day at Gulfstream Park West, a six and a half furlong sprint, optional allowance claimer, like number six, Yes Liz. She was a $200,000 OBS purchase by Stone Street Stable, debuted in a dominant fashion and seen nothing but stakes company since with one exception. That exception was two back in an optional allowance claimer like today. She drew off by eight widening lanes with her best career speed figure. I think Yes Liz is much the best in the ninth and featured at Gulfstream Park West. It was a good day back out here at what was formerly known as Calder. I hope Ladies Gulfstream Park West has a great fall turf meet.